step for myself. My name is Kayla Jukic. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back. I was having a really good morning this morning. I got up, I was laying in bed. I let myself wake up like I do every single day. I didn't touch my phone, got out of bed, did my skincare, ice rolled my face. I walked Kobe and it's so nice outside finally. I came back, I fed him and I checked my phone. And I opened Instagram like I do every single morning when I check my phone and my account was suspended for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Like I have no idea why. I took a screenshot, but it says there are 30 days remaining to disagree with this decision. Your account doesn't follow our community guidelines. I don't know how, I literally post like travel content, lifestyle content, fitness content. I'm literally posting fitness tips, workout tips, workout videos. Like I don't understand how helping people with their health and fitness journey is not following community guidelines. I had to submit a photo of like me holding my driver's license and a selfie. This has literally never happened to me before. And honestly, it might sound a bit annoying because I get it. It's just social media. I'm sure it's going to get fixed. But I think a lot of people always forget that people do this as a job, right? Like I am a content creator. This is how I get clients. This is like my source of income. This is part of my job. I feel like I was more upset 30 minutes ago when I first found it out, but my husband calmed me down and I've just been like trying to breathe. So I figured since I have no Instagram today, this is a really good day for me to just speed through things and be hella productive. We are gonna get all the shit done that I need to get done because I am not gonna be finding myself just sitting on my couch and mindlessly scrolling social media. Right now I'm having a very light breakfast. I'm having maple and brown sugar oatmeal with some blueberries and raspberries. Very light breakfast because I'm gonna get an early leg day done today. I also do have my greens. I love taking it in the morning. So cheers to a day of no social media and getting shit done. I also did pick up a package early this morning it actually came yesterday, but I was just so lazy to pick it up. It's this Porter Seal Tight Bowl. And I thought it was so cute for like overnight oats or puddings or whatever it is. I was using mason jars before and I found that they were just so narrow. So like if I was trying to get to the bottom of it, it was like a little bit hard. So I decided to give this a try. So I got it off of Amazon. They have a few different colors. I ended up getting the pink one, but they have like black, cream, I think a blue color. This one is the 16 ounces, but I believe there was, I think 24 ounces. But yeah, this is super cute. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot. I'll show you too. I also got these from Amazon the other day. These little glass ones. They're a little bit smaller. I think these ones were 10 ounces. I can't remember, but I'll also link them. I used these the other day to make chocolate mousse pudding and it was so good and so convenient. I really like these too. Gonna head to the gym now. If you guys remember from the last video, I sorted this sports bra drawer and I sorted like my shorts and my leggings drawer. Now I did make room for this smaller drawer. This one is not quite filled yet, but this is gonna be my muscle nation drawer. So I am gonna wear this outfit for today for legs. This is the outfit on. So for the top, this is the deuce or the duke. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's D-U-C-E bra in candy pink size small. So as you can see, it's like almost a square scoop neck type of thing. It has Muscle Nation on the front. There is padding in here. You can take it out if you want. And the back of the bra just has this very nice design going on. I paired it with the Breakthrough Scrunch Bike Shorts. Again, in candy pink, size small. Honestly, for the shorts, I feel like next time I'm gonna try medium just to compare. Like this does fit, but in the waist, it is a little bit tight. It has no front seam, which we love. And then it has Muscle Nation on the side and this scrunch booty on the back. For reference, my waist is like 28 inches and then the widest area of my hips and my glutes is like 41 inches. And for the top, I'm a 34B. I am also very excited to tell you guys, but this is my first athlete brand deal. Like I have signed on with Muscle Nation. I have been wearing their sports bras for like two or three years now. So the fact that they reached out to me and wanted to work with me, it's, it's honestly just crazy. Please follow Muscle Nation and use my code, which is KD, K-A-Y-D. I'll have a link for it in the description box below. I'm gonna pack my gym bag and let's go hit a leg day.
afternoon has been so busy. So it's been a couple of hours since I left the gym. I did not realize that I was on a time crunch. I forgot that I had a nail appointment. And the thing with like recording my workouts for YouTube, I'm recording it for Instagram, I'm making other content. I lose track of time and I was like, holy shit, I need to get home. I need to walk Kobe. I need to have lunch. I need to take a shower. My hair is literally still a little bit wet. And then I went and got my nails done. So I got this like very light pink color. I don't usually go for pink. So this is definitely different. Then I went to Herx, which is a supplement store. And I picked up my protein for oats. You guys have seen this on my channel a million times. This is the maple brown sugar flavor. I love putting this in my oatmeal. It mixes so well. And then I went to the grocery store to pick up a few things. Honestly, I don't even care. I'm going to show you in my car a little haul but I got croissants and they smell phenomenal I want to eat one so bad I bought everything bagels I bought a raisin bran muffin that I'm actually gonna eat right now because your girl's a little bit hungry I bought Liberté Greek yogurt vanilla flavor this was on sale two for seven dollars so I got two I honestly go through Greek yogurt so much because I eat it every day or if I'm not like eating it with strawberries and granola. I'm putting it in a smoothie. And then for me, I bought extra lean ground beef. I'm gonna make tacos with this probably tomorrow. And then I bought extra lean ground turkey. I am going to actually cook this today and I'm gonna do meal prep for my lunches for the week with probably rice and some veggies. I used to eat raisin bran muffins a lot when I was a kid. I don't know why, that was like my go-to at Tim Hortons and then I stopped for so many years. And then I started shopping at Longo's for groceries and they make them fresh and it is so good. I am home and just put all of the groceries away. I am actually obsessed with my nails. If my camera would focus, it's honestly almost the color of my skin, but I love like neutral tones and it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. So usually I go with like whites or browns. Anyways, now I am going to meal prep. So we're gonna be keeping it very basic. I have a can of veggies. I'm gonna make some rice and we're gonna cook that extra lean ground turkey. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is is my rice. So this is my rice cooker. I freaking love it. Don't want to forget to clean your rice. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two cups of this and I'm just going to wash my rice, get all the starch out, pour it in here. So this is the water and rice. I'm going to put it in here. Put the lid on top and of course plug it in. So this is a Black & Decker rice cooker. When you plug it in, it automatically sets to warm, but we wanna put it to cook, so I push it down. Now we're just gonna leave it to let it do its thing. It's probably gonna take like 15 minutes. While the rice is cooking, we are going to heat two pans. So this big one is gonna be for ground turkey and the smaller one is gonna be for veggies. I have this can of peas and carrots from Great Value. It's literally like a dollar at Walmart, so I'm gonna make this. And just gonna wash them a bit. So I'm adding my ground turkey to this one and I'm just gonna spray this pan so the veggies don't stick to it. That in there. Gonna add some pepper to the veggies and a tiny bit of garlic powder. While the meat and the while the meat and veggies are cooking, I'm going to meal prep some overnight oats. I think I showed you guys these glasses this morning. I freaking love these from Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is add 70 grams of rolled oats. I'm only making two for now. I just don't like making more than that because I feel like it gets kind of soggy. So I'll have one tomorrow and one the next day and then I'll remake another two. Now I'm adding 125 grams of almond milk. Now we're going to use the protein for oats, maple brown sugar oatmeal that I just bought. And we're going to put 10 grams of that in. I'm making a mess. And then I just mix that all together just to make sure the milk, the oatmeal, everything gets mixed well. If you want your oatmeal to be more creamier, you can add like almond butter or peanut butter or something like that. But this is how I like it. And I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then tomorrow I'll add the fruit that I want. So these are done and they're just gonna go in my fridge overnight. So I turn the stove off, all of the veggies and meat is done. The rice is also done. So let's start packing it. for today. Today I'm gonna be using these. I believe they're from KitchenAid, honestly. I'm not 100% sure. I bought these from Walmart, but these are my meal prep containers. If you guys watched my full day of eating from a few weeks ago, I am no longer tracking my calories or macros, so I'm not gonna weigh anything out. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and go with what I feel. Honestly, from a full year of tracking, I feel like I honestly can just eyeball, like looking at the food and being like, okay, this is a serving and a half of rice. Now I'm gonna add the ground turkey. 
healthy. And now the veggies. And that is this week's lunches. Literally took me 15 minutes to make. that is the end of today's video i am tired and i just want to watch some netflix i want to read my book i have to make dinner spend some time with kobe and my husband so i'm gonna call this the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this little productive day in my life make sure to subscribe to me down below so you don't miss any of my future videos give this video a big thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one bye